Don't let what you see with the eye stop your connection. Some people look insignificant, but they are your connection. Some people look like they are nobody, but they are your connection. Some people know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. I pray for you today that the Naomi that will bring you into your destiny, God is bringing them into your life. Saul was nobody until he met with Samuel. Elijah was connected with the grace on Elijah. First Kings chapter 19, verse 19 to 21. Until Elisha met with Elijah, he was just a businessman, cumbering the ground, carrying grace but not knowing. Carrying a calling but not knowing. Unknown to him that one day his bones will raise the dead. He will exceed the anointing and the capacity of his boss. He didn't know until he met with the connection that stirred up his connection. Because you see, life talks to life. At the sound of the water spouts, life talks to life. I pray for you today that people will resurrect the gift you carry, who will resurrect the grace you carry, who will resurrect the ability you carry, who will resurrect the oil of God in your life. They will come into your life. They will come into your life. They will come into your life. Somebody say amen. Joseph was anointed to, to deliver the whole of the world. But he needed the butler. If the butler and the cup bearer were not the, there in the prison, he wouldn't have known the way out. Particularly the butler. There is a connection for your next level. There is a connection for your calling. There's a connection for your future. There's a connection for your blessing. There's somebody put in the place so that you will... <laughs> what you were anointed for so you can read there if mordecai did not work as a gate man gate man gate man in the palace of ahasuerus there was no way esther will have been the queen not of a kingdom but an empire because she was a slave when she when her great grandfather we don't know who or her father arrived in babylon they send them to the slave quarters. When you arrived in Babylon in those days, they look at you. Slave quarters. Slave quarters. You, um, palace. Slave quarters. Ah, you look like slave. Slave quarters. So when they sent you to slave quarters, they gave you slave bread, slave dressing, slave everything. Palace, you served there. Her uncle, they looked at him and said, you, you can be a good gate man. They will be calling you, gate man. Oh, go that way but she did not know that God had ordained her that when she will be born she'll be the queen of an empire but because of her connection to Mordecai and by Mordecai's connection to the eunuchs in the palace she became the queen of an empire where you were born will not stop where you are going what you've been through will not stop where you're going. Your destiny will manifest. Your purpose will manifest. Your calling will manifest. Your destiny will manifest. You are coming into powerful connections. Some of the awesome connections. Powerful connections. Oh, I pray for businessmen and women who are here today. God will give you unusual connections for your business to explode. For your business to soar. For your business to explode. In the name of Jesus. Shout yes, yes, yes. Sit down, sit down. Naaman. Naaman received his healing because of his connection to a young maiden. General Naaman. General Naaman. He's been to every military training. He's been through every conquest. But he had a problem. He was a, he was, he was a leper. And his leprosy was embarrassing him. But there was a little girl in his house. She was his connection. There's somebody to unlock the next season. Unlock the next season. God is bringing them into your life. David was connected to Jonathan for lifting and preparation. He was one day going to occupy the palace. But he needed to, to enter the palace before the day came. 
Jonathan took him in so that he can see the protocol of the palace, the system of the palace, the lifestyle of the palace before he goes to live there. Somebody who's supposed to prepare you for the next level, for how to run your own business, how to run your own ministry, how to run the things God is going to put into your hand. God will link you with them. God will connect you with them. I said, God will link you with them. Connect you with them. In the name of Jesus.